Thank you very much, D-Man. And the first thing that I really want to talk about is the composition that we've seen OMG running. I think, you know, individually they showed that they were stronger players, they worked better as a team, and there's not too much to dissect from a gameplay uh, mechanism just yet, but I think the composition, it was very much Royal-esque, who is, of course, in the quarterfinals. Uh, Doublelift, do you want to comment on this one? Yeah, um, I've actually never seen Big Pamela play any sport. I thought Top he has. Oh, he has? Yeah, he has. Not well, I will say that. <laughs> okay. I feel like he pulled it out in this game specifically to kind of strike fear into his opponents, trying to show, like, oh, I can play any support. If you're not comfortable playing against it, you have to ban it. He did have 50% of his team's deaths, though, so I don't know how many <laughs> people are going to be. Yeah, and with that, to, to break down that any support a little more, when we talk about it being Royal-esque, that any support does so much work when you have it in the mid lane with an AD carry. And typically, we see it with Twitch on Royal or with Ezreal. Uh, and it just gives you so much control over your enemy's buffs because that hard stun, that engage in the jungle, leads to some really nice early invades, and it gives you a lot of options for diving the mid lane early as well. So typically, we see a 2v1 in the mid lane when that any support is picked, and that's kind of why. Uh, I kind of agree with Monty there. Like I've played any support a bit in solo queue and, and on, on various smurfs. Uh, it wasn't as effective as I'd hope it to be <laughs> in the bot lane 2v2 sometimes. It has uh, good strengths, but sometimes it's not as good. But then if you put it in the mid lane, there's where the strengths of any support really shines. Really good harass. Uh, it doesn't need for sustain because 1v2 you don't need the sustain at all. And as he said, going for the buffs, jungle control, you have a stun on demand, and that's really, really big in a 2v1 play. Just, just before we get double F's point, as you can hear from the crowd, TSM has just taken to the stage, so we'll get to their game in a second. But what did you want to add about uh, OMG's comp or the team, how they're playing? Yeah, well, I just wanted to add that as an AD player, if you're playing against something unconventional like any support or like any sort of kill lane bottom, which Annie kind of brings, because she's just got so much kill potential, you're really uncomfortable. Like, I know I would be very uncomfortable laning against something I've never laned against before because it's only popular in, in China specifically and it's just like it's something that you're gonna have to always consider do I have to ban this do I have to like lane swap against it so I just I don't want to lane against something like that if you're playing AD. One of the things I do want to highlight about what OMG have just done is not only have they showed the ability to seriously control games but the ability on the champions cool playing Fizz in particular this is something that every other team is gonna have to consider uh, talking about picks and bans and thinking well if we get the likes of an Uri in that mid lane Cool might happily play that fist and try to shut you down. Well, right. Yeah. We, we touched on this a little earlier, but with OMG all but sewing up their spot into the quarterfinals, of course, there could be some wild stuff that happens, but I think we're all anticipating that they're going to make it at this point. This is where you start to mind game really hard. And so striking fury into your opponents with some of these picks is very important, and I think we're going to see that as this group closes out. And OMG just looking like the strongest team top to bottom that we've seen so far in the group stage hasn't dropped a game, and they haven't made the same kind of early game mistakes mistakes that SK Telecom has made right now, so they're looking great. I'm excited to see them. They will be playing TSM in our last game of the day. That is a little bit while, a little while away. Right now, let's take a look at the Group A standings. At the top of the table, undefeated is OMG at 5-0. SKT is sitting one game behind at 4-1. and one. TSM 2-2. Two and two. And now they're really going to be stepping up to the plate to try and challenge for that quarterfinal spot. Lemon Dogs and Gaming Gear rounding out the bottom of the table. All right, before